Hello there guys, and welcome to this very cool episode of iWeb Wednesday. Um, I know on Monday, if you guys watched my Final Cut tutorial, I was saying that I was going to show you guys, or I had a pretty big, uh, big announcement, which I still do, but um, what I was hoping to say was that um, MedievalHollywood.tk would finally become MedievalHollywood.com, and I would end my um, iWeb series uh, by announcing that and kind of showing uh, showing you guys a tutorial on um, how to publish um, your um, website to get a uh, .com instead of like a .webs.com or something cheap like that. Um, so instead, um, sadly, that didn't happen. And if you didn't get uh, the hint, um, no longer will I web Wednesdays be I web Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to stop those um, simply because I, um, you know, I kind of said everything that I wanted to say. They weren't get, um, getting as many views as my Final Cut tutorials. So I'm just going to be um, making um, something brand new called Random Wednesday. Where we might do everything from a view, right, a review <laughs> for a camera, or just a Final Cut tutorial in general, or you know, who knows? Might be like something with um, sound engineering or GarageBand, or even like some more um, like Final Cut Studio stuff. I don't know. It's random, so leave me a comment down below if you guys have an idea for that. Um, I apologize to my people who have enjoyed these tutorials over the past few weeks, um, but they just got to end. I kind of said everything. Um, but instead, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to create little Twitter and Facebook links, um, like buttons to put on your website. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh God, dear God, that was my mic. <laughs> let's get started. Well, I pretty much said everything that I want to say in the intro, um, so let's just jump in. So first off, what we want to do is we uh, want to come over here to the lovely internet. And let's go to google.com. And then we'll come over to images, and then um, whatever you want. Like if you guys have like a YouTube logo that you want or a Facebook logo, um, just search that. So like, let's say I want to do a Twitter logo. So I'll search Twitter, find one that I like, click it, and then it'll should bring you to the page where the uh, logo is. Although also along here, um, along the top, there should be the, uh, a link to see the full size image. Um, do that and right click it and hit Save Image to Downloads. Now, I already did a few, so I'm just going to come over here to my iWeb and come down here to my recently downloads. Now, um, I, as you can see, I got a bunch of these, so I'm going to bring this Facebook one in. You know, that looks pretty good. It's very nice, very high quality, so I'll drag that down. Although, a uh, good thing to keep in mind is, is it doesn't need to be super high quality because, you know, it's a pretty small image and it's going to be just on the web. And um, the larger the file size, the more um, l um, the more time your video or your page is going to take to load. So I wouldn't recommend um, having that too high of a quality. Now, um, as we can also see, we got a little bit of a white box around here. And so what we need to get rid of this is we need to open up the inspector over here. This lovely little eye but um, eye button. And there should be a kind of a, a button along the top um, with a circle and a um, square. And so let's come down here to where it says stroke and um, select none. And as we can see here now, it's um, all gone. Let's bring this down a little bit more. And then also I want to get a Twitter button. So I already got a um, Twitter button here in my downloads folder. So I'll just drag this in and it'll be like, uh-oh, look, there's a white box around it. Now some of the um, images from Google or wherever else you guys might get these, um, they might have them. Or, um, you know, also if you guys have a, um, just kind of a quick tip. If you guys have an iPhone, you can take a screen um, a screenshot by pres uh, pressing the power button as well as the home button at the same time, and then you can use those images um, from your Facebook or from your iPhone and use these as a uh, backgrounds. But anyways, to get rid of this white box, um, you don't want to you don't want to crop or anything. But what you want to do is you want to open it up that file um, in preview mode, actually, um, something that looks like this. So let's expand this um, box. Now, if you guys have um, Photoshop or some other um, photo editing software, um, you'll probably be um, fairly um, familiar with this tool. Um, it's probably not called Instant Alpha, but what what it does is it pretty much selects a color and it'll, and it'll kind of like remove the um, color um, until it hits a new color. So I'll just kind of show you guys an example. So I'll click it. I'll kind of you know if we drag further to to the right, it'll select more, and so on. So I'm just select so it pretty much selects all of it. Then um, let go, and it should select everything. And then it will just hit delete. And then look, you know, it looks great. Especially for you know, we just did this, you know, one little thing. If you want to go in, um, you can probably use like probably the uh, rectangular selection 
kind of like redefine the edges a little bit. But honestly, because this is um, going just on the web, this looks fantastic. So let's just put, um, press Command C to save it. And then let's um, save it to our desktop and call this Twiddle Logo. Now I already have one of these because um, of a different take of this tutorial. So I'll just hit replace, quit um, preview. Now if I come back here and find the uh, same file, I'll drag it into my um, iWeb and look, now it's all gone. Fantastic. Although this one too has a little bit of the border. So do, um, repeat the same step that I already said and just um, put the stroke to none. So I'll bring this down to size and put this next to my Facebook one. <laughs> It's a little bit larger though. Alright, it doesn't look perfect, but for a tutorial, hey, it looks pretty good. Now, here comes the real magic, and this is about hyperlinking. Pretty much like selecting a, a text, or for in this case, an image, and um, putting it as a link to a different page. So, like this Facebook one, we're gonna um, um, come up here, open the inspector, and then there's gonna be a button that kinda looks like this. Looks like a, I guess, a blue circle with a uh, arrow inside of it should be called a link inspector so we'll click that button then enable as a hyperlink and if you guys want to get more of these tutorials about hyperlinks just search them on YouTube they're pretty much everywhere so now we're going to say um, a link to what we have an external page one of my pages a file email let's hit an external page and then let's um, come over here to Facebook now I'm already logged in um, but let's go down to my um, pages because this is going to be um, the Medieval Hollywood one. So here's the Medieval Hollywood page. I'll take that. Check it out. <laughs> I'm the only fan that's kind of sad. If you guys want to um, check out this Facebook page, the link is in the description. So I'll select all of that, copy it, and then come over here to iWeb. And then I'll paste it under here to where the URL is. Now hit enter. So if we were to say um, make hyperlinks active, if we click it, look it takes it straight to the Facebook page that's pretty cool um, if you guys want to um, also do this for Twitter you know just go right ahead pretty much the same steps just put the uh, Facebook link instead of or the Twitter link instead of the Facebook link well I hope you guys enjoyed this final iWeb tutorial it's kinda sad to see it go away but um, I'm pretty pumped for these random Wednesdays um, so yeah if you guys have any video um, tutorials for random Wednesdays leave them down below uh, I'm pretty much accepting all software, um, video tutorials, or just like something um, you guys want me to build or review. I'll be more than happy um, to do those things, so I hope to see you guys around soon. And uh, I do apologize to my users who um, like these iWeb tutorials. But until then, I'll see you guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And um, I'll see you guys on Friday with a Final Cut tutorial. So, see you then.